Welcome to Moo Moo Math and Science. In this video, we're going to work some Punnett squares and we're going to figure out the genotypes and phenotypes and we're going to write out the ratios and the percents. So let's go ahead and get started. This first one says mice can be tan or brown. Write the genotype or phenotype of a homozygous dominant brown mice, mouse, excuse me, crossed with a heterozygous brown mouse. Okay, so step one is we've drawn the Punnett square. Now we need to write the parents on the Punnett square. And in this, we have a homozygous dominant. I'm going to use the letter T, so that's going to be written big T, big T, and a heterozygous brown mouse, okay? So we know for sure that brown is dominant. So I have the homozygous brown parent here and the heterozygous brown parent down here. I'm going to fill in the boxes and let's make sure I do this correctly. And it looks like we have this. So now I'm going to write the genotype. And I'm going to write it homozygous dominant, heterozygous, homozygous recessive. So homozygous dominant, I have 1, 2. And then heterozygous, I have 1, 2. Okay, 1, 2. And then homozygous recessive, I have 0. So I could write it 2 to 2. And percents, that would be 50%. 50%, so it'd be 50% homozygous dominant, 50% heterozygous, and then 0% homozygous recessive. Now for the phenotype, I'm only going to write dominant or recessive. So the dominant is, I have dominant, 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 dominant. I have four. Now how do I know that it is dominant? It's because they each have a capital letter. And then for the recessive, it will be 4 to 0, or really that's not a ratio, and then the percent will be 100% chance that their offspring is going to be brown. Okay, let's move on to the next one. Number two goes like this. We have rabbit fur can be white or brown. Write out the genotype and phenotype percent of two heterozygous white rabbits. So here's our clue. We have two heterozygous white rabbits. Again, I'm going to use the T's, and so heterozygous is always one dominant and one recessive. I'm going to fill in the boxes very quickly. Okay, let me check my work, make sure that I have done this correctly. Yes, so now let's go to the genotype. Homozygous dominant, I have one right there. Heterozygous, one, two. Homozygous recessive, one. Percents, 25, 50, 25. Remember, each box is worth 25%. Dominant and recessive, the phenotype. I have dominant, dominant, dominant. That's three, two, one recessive. And that is 75% dominant trait, which is um, white and 25% recessive trait. Okay.